Good to have you back, boss. I know I speak for everyone when I say that. And uh, there's the rosters and the, the running sheets for the last couple of months. Right. One more thing. With all hands uh, back on deck, uh, I'm going to take a few days off next week. It's all, it's all on the roster. So it is. Yes, by way of a uh, second honeymoon. <laughs> I think I owe it to Penny. Is that all, Sergeant? Uh, yes. Yes, I think so. Sergeant. Right. Sarge. What's the problem? I need to pick up a new transfer case for my truck. Right. A mate of mine's holding it for me, but I kind of got to get there now. Yeah, well, I can't see why not. I can. You're rostered, you work. Yeah, but boss, if I don't pick well, up the part Get now. your vehicle seen to in your own time, Jones. Permission denied. Clear on that, Sergeant? Yes, boss, perfectly. OK, everyone, let's get to it. Not the most exciting start to the day, but there's been a reported goat theft out on Acacia Way. <laughs> Susie, you and Jonesy? Yeah, sure. Right. Um, on second thoughts, Kelly and Joss, you take it, OK? Sure, Sarge. Why us? Come on, Joss, you've got a natural affinity for herd animals. Anything for me, Sarge? How about a coffee? I'll put those photos in. Ah, oh, great. How long do you need? Hour and a half, two max. Well, if it's that important, make it quick. Yeah, but what about him? I'll cover. So. And that's Stuart in Broome. Yeah. Well, he's, he's tall. Sergeant Schroeder, is that your signature? Yes, boss. Is there a problem? Any reason why Jones hasn't worked weekends for the past month? He's helping a mate build a house. Four weekends running. Oh, it's the only time the mate's gotten it. So everyone nice. else has to fill in for it. I don't think they mind. Where is Jones? Sorry? You heard me. Where is Constable Jones? Out. Out. On patrol. That's right. Right. We don't have to tell him everything. of time. Sorry about that. Right, um, when was the last time you saw your goat, Mrs Leach? Oh, I don't know. A few days ago? A few days. Oh, I don't live here. This is my country retreat. And when I got in this morning, Heather was gone. It's been cut. Yes, I know. So can you describe this goat for us, Mrs Leach? It's black and brown, long ears. She cost me a thousand dollars. You're kidding. She's an Anglo-Nubian, a good milker. I thought my daughter was lactose intolerant. Is there any other information that might help us? I'd start by talking to Mussolini next door. Mussolini? So the old coot swears at me in Italian whenever he sees me. Peroni, sei italiano. <laughs> yeah. Eh, fantastico. Adesso possiamo parlare più bene, eh? Eh, allora? E allora? Per giorni che non ha già visto la capra. Fate un sacco di rumore. And poi è sparita. He hasn't seen anything, but the goat was kicking up a fuss. Why? Perché stava facendo tutto questo rumore? Perché non aveva mangiato o beve. E bisogno di essere dimungiata. Non si merita di avere animali che sta strega. Sai non vuoi un cielo, eh? He hasn't seen anything for days, but apparently Mrs. Leach has been neglecting it. No, no, non è la mia ragazza, è la mia collega. <laughs> Bella. Eh? Che coscia, eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> so. What do you say? Oh, he's saying he's really impressed that there's someone in the force who can speak Italian like me. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, could you ask me if you saw anyone dodgy hanging around in the time of the goat's disappearance? Yeah. Signor Morelli, non è che per caso ha visto qualcuno un po' losco nei dintorni ultimamente, no? No, ma lei mica tua è sempre benvenuto, cara. Ci credo. Uh, no, he said no. Uh, should we have a look around? Oh, that's no point. Mm -hmm. All right, grazie, eh? buongiorno. Grazie. Ciao. Thanks for checking me out. My pleasure. 
Apparently this bee and bee has a prehistory feature garden with 12 different varieties of protea. Penny would love that. Penny would love that. How do we go with the missing goat? Oh, not good. The woman left the animal out in the open for a week and now she suspects her next door neighbour. He and Joss talked in Italian the whole time. Who's this? Oh, this guy called Ugo Morelli. Well, got anything else to go on? Not really, no. Oh, his son runs Angelo's, a new Italian place at the golf club. Start by checking there. Why? Mount Thomas Police Station. Ugo Morelli supplies half their produce. Check the menu. Nothing else was taken. You don't think they're eating goat? Right. That is gross. What are you talking about? Uh Right. We'll get nothing to go on. You do. Hang on, you two. Report of a Kohlberg on the housing estate. Why doesn't Constable Rayner take that call out, Sergeant? By myself? No, of course not. You know the rules. Two out at all times. Jones can go with you. He is on patrol. Rayner, where is Constable Jones? He has gone to pick up the new part for his rover boss. Acting Sergeant, a word. Did you not hear me? I refused personal time for Constable Jones. Now I find him gone. I'm sorry, boss. I didn't realise. Why did you tell me he was on patrol? I didn't ask for you to come here. You were foisted on this station while I was on suspension and I'd have no hesitation sending you back to your substantive position. I was fostering good staff relations. In my experience, good staff relations happen as a consequence of sergeants fostering discipline and hard work. They are not your children, acting sergeant. You are not their mother. I never thought I was. Stop behaving as though you were. Is that all, boss? No. Call Jones back immediately. I don't care where he is, he is supposed to be working. And if you ever go behind my back again, you'll be spending the rest of your career as a constable. You can go. Boss. So how far'd you get? About 20 minutes from my mate. And I get Lindy on the mobile telling me to come back immediately. Yeah, well, you know what the boss thinks of personal time? Yeah, well, it's not the boss I'm blaming. Ah, Lindy's just trying to help. Yeah, whatever. Neighbourhood Watch. Uh, It was a plasma TV screen. Brand new, 50 inch with inbuilt speakers. Okay, what else was taken? Nothing. Just the TV? The plasma TV, yes. Well, they're pretty big units, aren't they? It took two boys from the delivery company to carry it in. You got any idea how the thieves ended? No idea. Was he telling insured? I can't afford insurance. I want it. God, that's pretty lucky. It wasn't luck. I took buses to supermarkets all over the place to fill in those entries. It was hard work. Then some lazy bastard just comes and rips it off. This door, could it have been left open? Oh, well, maybe. I'm not sure. Is there a right-of-way access? No, no, there's no way out through there. Hi there. Hi. Janine told me about the telly. Terrible, isn't it? You are? Chantel Perry. You've been home all morning, Chantel? Yeah. Yeah, we've been here the whole time. I've got a maid over. Right. You haven't seen anything over the last few hours, have you? No, nothing really. Except for the van out the front. Yeah, it looked like a delivery van. I thought you needed one another telly or something. I think we might come over. It's just a white van. Can you describe the van any further? It was white, wasn't it, girl? So did you see anyone going in next door? Anyone hanging around? No, but we didn't really look. Gail, are you a friend of Janine's too? We're in and out of each other's places all the time. Yeah, it's good with the kids. She had us over last night to show us her new tally. Poor Janine. She only had it for a day. Real shame. 
Spezzatino di capretto. You don't know what that is, then. Let me guess, it's goat. Yeah. How do we know if it's the right goat? There's only one way to find out. After you. What's this? A receipt from our lunch at Angelo's. $45? Yeah. We left a tip. Yes, yes, I can see that. PJ sent us because they had goat on the menu. Right, you had to eat there to work this out, didn't yeah, you? Absolutely. See, the goat that we're looking for is at least three years old. The goat that I ate was kid. kid. Very tender, different kind of goat. But you sampled this goat too, did you, Kelly? Oh, God, no. No, I had calamari. calamari. Yeah, and the garlic bread. Right, how about you do something useful this time and go and check the local vets, eh? All right. Sarge? Here's Ross's or a dog's breakfast. I don't see what's wrong it's with It's not it. open for discussion, Sergeant. Do them again. Now. Making excuses for him, Mark. You saw how he spoke to me. Yeah, yeah, he can be different. He doesn't trust me. I think he's got gender issues. Gender issues? The man is a bully. It's the third go he's had at me today. I'll have a word with him if you like. No, just play him straight, treat him with respect, and you'll be all right, okay? I need you on deck next week. Penny and I are away till Wednesday. Oh, if you like. Yeah, well, it's not all pleasure. 20 years of marriage. Penny will turn me into a lamp shadow if I don't make an occasion of it. <laughs> and Cuppa? Yeah, that'd be lovely. I'm 43, Mark. This is my one chance at Sergeant. If he makes this hard for me, I'm going to report him to Equal Opportunity. We did the door knock, nobody saw the white van. We checked with the old bloke across the road who spent the entire morning in the front room. Is he reliable? Yeah, not much would get past him. And you wouldn't notice if you saw someone walking up the street with a plasma TV. If it didn't go out the front, it must have gone out the back. Uh, you say the door was unlocked? Yeah, but there was nowhere for it to go. There was fences all the way around and they were too high. Lift it over. Why don't you go and check them again? Boss? Jones? Good to see you giving the taxpayer for oh, your yes, Sergeant Jacobs here uh, from... Where off? Oh, yes. Yes, no, I, I wanted to make a booking for two for this weekend. Uh, Jacobs? The, um, sundowner suite, I think. Yeah, the sundowner suite. Looks good. Well, beats me. Maybe they use magic. No. Hey, where did you come from? I live there. We didn't realise there was a back way from Janine's. Oh, yeah. The kids go in and out all the time. Was it possible that the TV could have been taken out through there? Not through my place. Well, we were here the whole morning. We'd have seen it. Yeah, it's just that none of your neighbours saw the white van out the front this morning. It was there, wasn't it? Yeah. But you don't think we took the telly, do you? Be better than the one you've got. <laughs> Anything would be better than that. Hey, um, Janine said that she won the TV. Yeah, she's a lucky one. It's not as if she didn't already have a good tally. Yeah, she won that one too. She's amazing. Did she show you the other stuff she's won? The Royal Dalton, 36 pieces. The car. She won a car. Makes you sick, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just something about the way these women are answering each other's questions. Jonesy? Oh, I didn't notice anything. Too busy flirting. Right, well, go back and talk to Janine Wells, see what she's got to say. That's what I say. Yeah, OK. okay. Matt Thomas Police, Sergeant Jacobs. You might want to keep yeah. the boss in the loop. Just as a courtesy. Yeah, be around straight away. You just you stay where you are, sir. PJ, Amy, there's been a robbery at the community bank. An offender threatened to detonate an explosive. <laughs> that bomb's taped around his chest. I'm sorry. He said he was going to blow us away. A bomb? We haven't yet established whether this bomb was real. Have you checked recent offenders? Mm, nothing there. I haven't seen this kind of MO before. Anything at all that you can tell us would be a big help. 
I'll try. How old would you guess he was? Uh, I don't know. What did his voice sound like? Angry. Did he shout at you? No. Did you get his height or his build? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. I couldn't take my eyes off the bombs. It's okay. Can you describe them for us? Um, they look like tin cans, uh, silver. He had them taped to his chest. Um, he opened his coat and showed me. And what did he say? I'm going to blow us all to God if you don't do what I say. Give me five thousand four hundred and fifty-seven dollars. Five thousand four hundred and fifty-seven dollars. You sure about the amount? I'm absolutely. I thought I was going to die. Five four five seven. No. And these are all your transaction records for the past three months. Mm, that's everything. And nothing matches that amount. Nothing. Our bomber must have been so specific for a reason. Perhaps the bank lost his money. That's unlikely. I'd know about it pretty quickly. The complaint would come to you. Always. We're not exactly a multinational. Or he has a debt of exactly that amount. None of his steals what he needs. Well, he could have got away with a lot more than this. Apparently, he didn't want to. Now, I understand that you had Gail and Chantel over last night. That's right. So, what did they think of you, New Telly? They couldn't be happier for me. They'd never seen a plasma screen before. So everyone had a good time? Yeah. I like sharing with my friends. Now, they tell us that you're pretty lucky, winning all sorts of prizes. I told you, I work for these things. OK, so what actually do you have to do? Well, if you fill in enough vouchers and entry forms, you're in with a chance. And I do my homework. With a straight prize draw, the odds are against you. So you pick the competitions that ask for something specific. Oh, hard work. Well, something Gail and Chantel could do more of. Well, it can't be easy for them, you know? They've got small kids. So have I. Well, they complain a lot, but don't do anything about it. You reckon they could do a little bit more to help themselves? They're happy just to come over and drool over my latest stuff. I tell them, get off your asses and you can have some of this too. We didn't take a stupid telly. Do you see it round here? And you can search my place too if you want. Oh, Janine thinks we took it, is that right? No, no, she didn't say that. We're just following Typical the procedure. bloody mole. Thought she was a mate. That's right. So you were going to say... Nothing. You don't think it's a bit convenient blaming the friends? They're really not friends, Sarge. Right, well, I thought they were always around at this woman's house. Mm, it doesn't mean they're friends. No, it's a schoolyard thing, girls in right. groups. So do we have anything other than a vague hunch? Uh, no. Mm. Nah, I had a look around Chantel Perry's place. And there's nothing there. And Gail O'Shaughnessy insisted that we search her place. Nothing there either. So they stashed it? Mm, but where? Wouldn't the best outcome be for the TV just to magically reappear? What do you think that's likely, do you? If you brought them in, put the fear of God into them, spelt out the consequences. Could work. Maybe this way we could resolve it without anyone having to be charged. Go softly and give them an easy out. We don't give anyone an easy out here, acting sergeant. If you're feeling squeamish, you should consider another career. Boss, sir, can I have a word? I think that was unfair, boss. I didn't ask for your opinion. No, I know you didn't ask for my opinion, but uh, I'd be failing in my job if I didn't give it to you. I understand uh, you had reason to criticise Sergeant Schroeder this morning. Acting Sergeant Schroeder is lucky to still have a job. Right, fair enough. But just now she was offering a very sensible solution to a case that's going nowhere. Your contribution stopped it dead in its tracks. Lindy Schroeder is a very good copper. I'm just asking that you give her a reasonable chance. I believe she's a friend of yours. That's beside the point. Very well. Your comments are noted. Is that all? Yes, boss. Thank you. As you're so keen to vouch for her, Acting Sergeant Schroeder can be your responsibility. From now on, any mistakes she makes, you wear them. Well, it could be anyone. If we just look up. Hmm, very cool. Maybe not so cool. Average height, 
average bill, not much else. There's got to be something. What's happening there? Sarah. Hi. The security footage shows the suspect looking at a bank brochure. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah, I'd forgotten about that. You remember now? Yep, he picked up one of the brochures and he read it. While he was robbing the bank? Yes. Is that unusual? Slightly. <laughs> the brochure seemed to cause quite a reaction. Yes, he tore it up. Uh, what was it about? It's the Community Bank Pledge on Customer Service and Ethical Banking. Did he say anything about it? No, he just laughed. I just can't believe it could be one of our customers. You must have disgruntled customers. Oh, sure. But we're a community bank. It's different to the big banks. I mean, these people are our shareholders. Have you had any particular problems with the customer lately? Oh, not to the extent that they want to rob us. There have been complaints. What about? Oh, we had some problems with a teller. Yes? He was getting up people's noses. So what happened? Oh, he had a yelling match with one of the customers, so I'd let him go. And how did he react to being sacked? Not too happy. He had a few things to say. What did he say? That uh, someone should come in and blow us away. Bloody hell. What's his name? I really don't have to do this, you know. Well, we really appreciate you coming in, Mr Hill. I don't even work there anymore. It's possible that the person we're interested in may have had some grievances against the bank. Do you recall any really disgruntled customers? <sighs> They're all disgruntled. They think a bank teller's there to make them feel better. They expect you to know who they are. Well, uh, the man asked for a specific sum of money, $5,457. Does this... No. Mean you don't recall any no. customers who may have been angry well, enough to rob How do I know they're all angry? Well, perhaps someone said something to you. Well, honestly, I mean, if when they complained, I just switched off. I used to tell them, if you don't like it, use internet banking instead. Kevin Sutton claims that after he sacked you, you threatened him. No. What did you say to him? Uh, I said that someone should blow him and the bank away. <laughs> what, that's not a threat? Well, I didn't say I'd do it. Where were you earlier this afternoon, Mr Hill? Am I a suspect now? Just answer the question. I was working. You can call them if you want. A new job, Mr Hill? Yeah. I'm in hospitality now. His story holds up. He was at work while the robbery was taking place. His manner would drive anyone to armbar. So, where does that leave us? Without much to go on. But what about the old amount of money? We checked the accounts. Nothing matches. Huh? Stay on it. I'll get it. Can I... Oh! Um... Oh. Here. Uh, here, goat. Um. Oh, my God. That's our goat. How did it get here? I have absolutely no idea, but I um, I think I'm allergic. Do you mind? Just return it to its owner. Bono, eh? Tranquilla, non aver paura. Oh, get real, Joss. It's got an English-speaking owner. I know it as well. Sorry. It's not my goat. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. It's got to be. Didn't you listen? Heather is a nanny goat. That is a billy goat. A male. Not my goat. Oh. Well, uh, whose is it then? Joss. Right? Well, how would I know? Aren't you supposed to be the police? OK, lame brain, will you decide what to do with it? It's always Angelo's. Oh, don't even think <laughs> that. Oh! Ma che fai? Che la capra è roba mia! What do you say? He's saying it's his goat. See, I told you I understood Italian, didn't I? Ma ha sempre de sbaglia. Ha trovato una capra e credeva che di essa strega. This thing was a simple mistake. Well, how did his goat end up in the station with a note around its collar? Quindi secondo lei come è fatto a entrare dentro la stazione di polizia? Eh. E come stai a tua guaglioncella, eh? Ari, dai, non è la mia guaglioncella, è la mia collega, signore, via. Ma tu sei pazzo, eh? Che stai una bambola. Hey, stop! Hey, where are you going? That's 
Scusi, eh. What are you doing? Sorry. What are you doing? What do you have to apologize for, Sandy? Making a mistake. Okay, I bought the coating. I didn't know it was Nono's. And why did you say sorry? Tell them, darling. I didn't want to tourist Nono. And why would we do that? Because he stole that lady's goat. Tell them why. It was crying all the time. She shouldn't have animals if she's not going to look after them. So you... I thought if I bought it here, Nono wouldn't be in trouble, but I got the wrong one. He had you fooled. Scusa, Peroni. So whereabouts in Italy are you from? West Melbourne. I'm confused. Now, how many goats are there? Two, but it doesn't matter. Mr Morelli was acting in the animal's best interest when he stole it. Morelli. Sugar. Yeah, thanks. We think that Deborah Leach was neglecting it. So, you've recovered the missing goat? Yes. yes. <laughs> so, what's the problem? Here, try one of these. Homemade. So, do we have to charge him or not? Technically, well, this woman doesn't have a clue. It was starving. Mm, yum. Mm. In that case, I think we can let Mr. Morelli mm. offer the warning. What about the owner? What do you think? You're charging me? That's right, Mrs. Leach. Don't be stupid. It's my goat. What could you possibly charge me with? Not supplying food and water to a ruminant? That's a goat. I know what a ruminant is. There'll be a fine and a follow-up from the RSPCA. It's an involved process. You know, you could actually avoid all of this, Mrs Leach. Here we go. Well, it's obvious you don't want the goat. Maybe you did, but I reckon it's become a bit of a burden. Sell the goat to Mr Morelli and we'll drop the charges. Should have known. I suppose you set all this up, protecting your own people. My own people? And who are they? Take the bloody goat. He's welcome to it. We just want to make sure that you understand the situation. My young colleagues here will explain it. If we found that someone had taken Janine's TV, that person would have to be arrested and charged. And they would face court. Have either of you guys faced court before? No. Well, burglary and theft are serious offences. They carry significant penalties. There's the possibility of jail. Substantial fines, at least, legal fees. But it makes it very hard to find work afterwards. We didn't take her TV. No, we're not saying that you did, Chantel. No, 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 no. Just talking hypothetically. He means that if you were that person, you would be in a whole lot of trouble. If, on the other hand, Janine's TV were to turn up again, we might be inclined just to let the whole thing go. Isn't that right, Sergeant? Absolutely. No questions asked. No charges. Well, that's what the Sergeant here says, and she's the boss. As long as the telly comes back. Right. Well, I think we all understand the situation. You can get back to your kids now. Thanks for coming in, ladies. Sergeant. Yes, boss. I've been waiting for an update. Nothing concrete so far, we believe. Have you charged them? Uh, no, we don't have evidence. Why not? Evidence, Susie, haven't been able to pin them down. But you believe these women stole the television? Yeah. Then you pursue them, find it, and charge them. Everything okay here, boss? Yes, everything's fine. You will charge them, Sergeant? Yes, boss. So is Tommy. Well, yeah, but can I help? 
Well, yeah, look, I got this email yesterday. It's to do with my internet banking. Now, I sent all my details when I first registered, but now they're asking for it again. I mean, it's just a bit sus, if you ask me. Community Banks of Australia customer registration. So is it official? Well, I've had people in the bar all morning asking exactly the same question. I think a lot of people registered to avoid that appalling teller. Yeah, I think I know the one. Come on, So, uh, will I send my details? How much money can you afford to lose? <laughs> it's called phishing. Someone makes themselves a nice, official-looking bank logo. Community Banks of Australia customer register. Which, of course, doesn't exist. And then they computer-generate a whole bunch of likely email addresses and then flood the system with emails like this one. So they submit their account detail. And then the scammer empties their account. Any way of tracing it? It's offshore. Not a chance. So how much did Chris lose? Chris didn't fall for it. But there are plenty of people who might have. Like our armed robber. Registers for internet banking, gets this email, sends his detail, loses his money. <laughs> and then blames the bank. So he robs the bank of exactly the amount he reckons they took. But didn't you try to match the sum against an account? Yeah, we did, but... I don't think we were clever enough. Now, you're suggesting that he's factored in the transaction fees and charges. Well, that's me. It's her theory. Well, I thought if we started with what he took... OK. Yep. Oh, we've got... Five, four, five, seven. Yep. Take away account maintenance charges. That's five. Connection fee for internet banking. Five. Transaction fee. Dollar sixty-five. What's that? That's five, four, four, five, thirty-five. Any matches? No. None. So what are we forgetting? Interest. What? You factored in interest? Mm -hmm. Well, if it's on the bonus saver, that's three percent per annum. And we'd pro out of that over eight months, and that'll give us a probable balance. Don't ask me, I slept through algebra. This is compound interest. There's a difference. Here we go. Hatton, Drew Hatton. And his account was emptied two weeks before the robbery. A month after he registered for internet banking. Should have stayed awake. Shall we? 508 to 209, we're approaching the house. Roger that, 508. Uh, there's a vehicle leaving the target address now. Police, don't move. Get out of the car. Get out Police. of the car. Put your hands where I can see. Out of the car. Out. Down again. You don't understand. You're under arrest for armed robbery. Hey, Jay. <laughs> Get me to the hospital. She's having a baby. Any second, mate. Any second. Do you know why we want to question you, Mr Hatton? Look, her water broke. I had to get her to a hospital. I should be there with her now. Not a chance. We understand that your bonus saver account was emptied two weeks ago. I didn't take that money out. Well, who did? Well, it had to be the bank, didn't it? Did you report it? Of course I did. Heaps of times. But the bloody bank teller said it was my fault. Gave me a stupid customer service brochure. Can you describe the document I've just put in front of you? It's from the Community Bank of Australia customer register. Have you received an email like this in the last few weeks? They wanted to verify my details. And you sent them? Well, they said I had to. They are scam merchants. They're the ones who emptied your account. But they had a logo and everything. Welcome to the electronic age. I thought it was the bank. So you decided to stage an armed hold-up? Oh, those bombs weren't real. The teller wasn't to know that. It was our money for the baby. Look, I sympathise, I really do. But you lost your own money. And stealing it back is a crime. Uh, Mr Hatton, the hospital just called. Your wife's had a baby girl. Yeah? Congratulations. Oh, that's excellent news. Oh, Impressive oh, no. work, you two. All right, I'll have some me. Oh, people are so gullible. <laughs> Someone has returned Janine Wells' plasma TV. Great. So it worked. Trouble is, they've smashed the screen. Bloody idiots. We're going to have to charge them. Susie, where are you going? I think we should tell the boss, Sarge. Oh, leave that to me. You two just head on out there and bring those women in. OK. 
Off you go. Sergeant. Oh, you said you'd forget all about it. That was before you smashed the plasma TV screen. We didn't smash anything. It was fine when we left it. We returned it in one piece. Like you said we should. I'll just get them inside. This way. What am I going to do? Well, if they did smash the television set, you can charge them with criminal but damage. But they say they didn't smash it, and I believe them. But they did steal it. Yes, but I said I'd overlook it if they brought it back. And they did? Yes, but I told the boss that yes, I'd charge them. Charge them with the theft? Yeah, but they it seems so unfair. Lindy, they brought wait, it back. Lindy, you... Oh, it's all gone pear-shaped, hasn't oh, it? Yeah. What am I going to do? Yeah. Wasn't there a nosy neighbour? You know, someone who might have seen who actually smashed the television set. The old bloke reckons he saw Gail and Chantel carry the TV across to Janine's front door. There you go. Was it intact then? Well, apparently. They rang the front door and bolted. Janine came out, yelled after them, then she kicked the screen in. Janine did? What? Right, well, we have no other alternative. No, Mark, please. You two, bring in Janine Wells, charge her with false report, let the other women go home. Why are you bringing me in? Why aren't you arresting them? Let's keep it down, Janine. My so-called mates. You let them go. That's enough. They had my plasma TV all the time, and what did you do about it? Nothing. You, you didn't search them, you didn't charge them, you let them get away with it. It's your bloody fault! You people are useless! Sergeant Jacobs, my office. Doesn't he mean me? No, no, he doesn't. Do you recall a conversation we had earlier today? I do. I told you I was holding you responsible for her behaviour and I meant it. Yeah, she wasn't to know the woman to be Acting so Acting Sergeant did, Schroeder has lied to me twice today. Well, she obfuscated the truth. A, a lie bit. is a lie. Well, she told me that Jones was on patrol when she'd given him personal time against my instructions. She did do that. And I... she assured me she would charge those two women. Instead of which, she's cooked up some little scheme which has a victim of crime in here being charged and those two going off scot-free. Yeah, it is much more complex than that. It looks like Janine Wells actually... what it actually... looks like, Sergeant, is that you've had no control whatsoever over an ill-disciplined and incompetent acting sergeant under your command. That is not fair. I'm not interested in fair. I'm interested in a well-run station where the members don't go behind my back and don't tell me lies. Right. Well, I will explain that to Lindy in the strongest possible no, terms. No, you won't. You'll get rid of her. Well, she's just put a deposit on a house. I don't want her in my station. Her husband's just been retrenched. She needs this job. I'm not asking you to sack her. I just want her out of here today. Tom, oh, please. So you will arrange to have her reassigned, or I'll write her a report that will haunt her for the rest of her career. Do you understand? Yes, boss. Good. We charged Janine Wells. She wasn't happy. Oh, good. Now she's got a criminal record and she's lost her best friends. Lindy, uh... What did the boss have to say? Well, he wasn't happy either, really. Well, he's never happy, but mm. surely he understood why I did it. No, not really. He's fairly insistent when it comes to matters of loyalty and... Uh... Sarge, um, that was a guy from the mountain retreat on the phone. Wants to know if you want the spa or in the king-size bed. <laughs> Tell him I'll get back to him, OK? Yeah. No problems. Well, I was just doing my job. If he doesn't like it, he can lump it. Well, uh, that's what he is doing, I'm afraid. 
What? Lumping it. What did he say? You're being transferred. When? As of today, I believe. As a sergeant? Mark, you can't let this happen. We just bought the house. Please, you have to convince him. I really need this. At least keep me on as a senior Connie. It's not possible. Why not? If it was up to me... Well, just go in and talk to him. He can't just transfer me. He's not transferring you. I am. Sorry. Thanks. Oh, no, thanks a lot. You really stood up to him, didn't you? Such a loyal friend. Your wife must be so proud. Lindy. Lindy. Leave me alone. Look. Don't talk to me. Don't say a word. All right, everybody, pay attention. The holiday is over. This is a police station and we'll now start to run like one. When we're rostered, we work. When we're given an instruction, we obey. I don't care what happens in our life outside, in here, we are police. All leave is cancelled until I say otherwise. Peroni O'Rourke, Foot Patrol, you two, paperwork from today's Berg. What's that all about? Don't ask me. You okay, Sarge? He's a bastard, Susie, bloody bastard.